guys, it's Sonya Miller. Welcome back to my show, Living the Creative Life. And I've been junkin'. Imagine that. Not only did I find a mirror, brownie frowny, but we love her anyhow. And look, can you see right here? Owls. I love me some owls. I believe this is gonna be a mixed media project. I'm seeing some pretty napkins and some pretty paint. And it was priced quite nice. So look at that, $4. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this lovely Liberty Blue from my paint stash onto this project today. Look how beautiful that blue is. I'm choosing to use our Chucky Style paint today. It makes it super easy. So you pretty much just have to grab a brush and go bananas. Guys, isn't this looking beautiful already? And yes, you can see I did not paint my little owls because I've got a plan for them. And here's my question of the day. What is your thing? Or do you collect a thing? A thing like a rooster? Do you collect pigs? Do you collect owls? Do you collect llamas? Do you have something that you are a collector of? I did put a little splash of color around the edge of these cutouts of the owls because you're probably gonna be able to see it from the side. And this is where this piece gets a little mixed media. Mixed media is when you incorporate different sorts of mediums into your artwork. Not only are we going to play with paint today, but I'm digging into a smidge of my napkin stash. You guys send me in these napkins and I love you for it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to decoupage the napkins on the top of these owls to bring them to life. Let's make these cute little characters stand out. All right, I'm gonna go with my gut, okay? A lot of times your gut knows, right? You just make those good gut decisions. What we do when we work with napkins is we are only concerned with the very top layer. We'll make use of this part in just a second. I'm gonna grab my Mod Podge. Let's put our Mod Podge down all over the area where we want our napkins to stick. And make sure you put a nice little bit of Mod Podge on there so that the tissue paper can make that good connection. I'm going for imperfectly perfect here. There goes our napkin down. While that's drying, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of this napkin as well on this little storage front area. Same process. Your eye loves to see repeating patterns, so not only are we gonna have some design on the owls, but we're also gonna have it right here in this section as well. Okay, I came back, had a snack, came back and checked this. It is almost dry. It's got some parts that's not quite dry, but it's a little bit tacky, but I think we can work around it. At the end of the day, I'm planning to distress this, so I'm not looking for it to be perfect. I switched out for a sand block that has a little bit more grit onto it, and that's gonna help me sand it off a little bit easier. So pretty. And remember, we can also distress the paper itself. So if you're going for distress, then yes, you can sand while it's, while it's still a little bit tacky to give that tattered and torn paper feel. But if you want it to be less shabby, then let your Mod Podge napkin dry in completely before you do this step. And any of the sections around the eyes that I just punched through, I can just go ahead and push down into the eye socket. And if I want, I can put a little bit of Mod Podge in there as well, just so that it sticks in there. And those eye sockets actually carry a little bit of the pattern down inside them. How this one came out, guys, right? Now we're gonna finish up on this one. Now let's go ahead and do some distressing as well on the outside of the piece. So I always say the two colors that every shabby, distressed, loving painter should have are black velvet and candy bar brown. So I'm gonna reach into my stash of candy bar brown and now I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to all the edging just to make it pop. I'm also gonna edge in my owls, make them look a little time-worn. Let's put a few little dry brush paint swatches. We're gonna let this dry and then finish it off to really, believe it or not, make that color pop. And how I'm gonna seal this piece is with our very own Monkey Shine. It's a clear, all natural wax polish. Wood loves Monkey Shine. So we're gonna go ahead and add that with a wax brush into the wax we go and around we go. Can you already see 
and you already see how that color is popping the moment we add our sealer. And yes, I can go right over the Mod Podge as well. Boy, can you see how beautiful that blue came? We do our buff wax on, buff it off. Every, all the supplies that I use guys here on my tutorial videos, you're gonna find at my website at junkmonkeypaint.com. So if you're going to be using the wax, grab yourself a buff off cloth. And what we do is we move in circles and we pick up all that excess of oil and wax that's on the top of this piece. And after we buff, it's gonna feel nice and dry and super, super soft. She turned out beautiful. I'm pretty sure these guys are smiling at this point. And all we've gotta do is grab the rest of those napkin parts, put a little Windex on it and shine up this mirror and she is ready to rock. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. Did you enjoy today's quick $4 flip? You know I am here every single day and yes, it's your turn. Tell me, number one, will you try this technique? But number two, what's your thing? What do you collect? I wanna hear from you guys below. In the comments, I'll join you shortly. Take care and see you tomorrow. Bye.